Hello guys, it is Wednesday and hopefully this video is under three minutes. First off, the scarf and shark that Madeline mentioned in her video yesterday. Um, here's the scarf she got me. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really soft too, but you can't tell that through the video. Yeah, I'd probably wear it ever if I was gonna rob a bank. Although maybe for irony sake I would wear the pink one because that'd be really funny, but still an awesome scarf. That, then I got this plastic shark. He's really cool. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He lights up. Oh yes, he's a lighting up plastic shark. And he is awesome. Those are the two things that I got from shopping the other day with Madeline. This brings us to the topic of the video, which really is this trophy. Now I'm sure right now you're wondering what in the world I'm doing with a spatula with wings connected to a foam core base with rocks around it and a bunny. Um, this is a trophy for winning, as stated on it, the century game of Killer Bunnies, the hundredth game. Now, I realize you don't know what Killer Bunnies is, and if you do, then, oh my gosh, where have you been all my life? But probably you don't. It's a card game, and I'm going to very quickly try to describe it. Basically, the point of the game is to get the magic carrot. Carrots look like this. Now, the magic carrot is drawn at random, and there are 20 carrots, and all of them have cool designs. Like the one I showed you first, and then there are other ones like these. Now, you get carrots by drawing money cards and buying carrots, or by drawing cards that say, like, pick a carrot. In order to have carrots at the end of the game, the game ends when, um, all the carrots are sold out, you must have bunny cards in front of you, living. Um, bunnies look something like this. Okay. Yeah, and basically you pick bunny cards and then you put them in your run. Now, however, obviously, being that this is that the carrots are drawn. There are 20 carrots, and, you know, one out of the 20 carrots will win. Chances are better for you if you have more carrots. Uh, obviously, you can get more carrots by buying more carrots, or if you're lucky to pick up enough carrot cards. But, um, also, being that you have to have a bunny at the end of the game, you can try and kill everyone else's bunnies. And if somebody has carrots at the end of the game, but they don't have bunnies, then the person with the highest amount of money gets the person's carrots. So really, strategy to the game is to just kill everybody else's bunny, so that way you can buy all the rest of the carrots, and be the only one with the bunny, and just, like, take everybody's carrots and then win, by default. Um, I realize, that's why it's called Killer Bunnies, the game, by the way. Yes, it's called Killer Bunnies. Realize that that description probably made absolutely no sense to you, at all, whatsoever. But I feel the need to explain it to you. And, see, now I play this awesome game that you guys have never played before, unfortunately with my sister's friends, Brian and Dave. I've mentioned them. Um, they threw a party since they did the 100th game. Um, you're probably wondering how they knew it was the 100th game. They keep track of what carrot wins. I know, it's complicated and strange. But, yes, so I won the 100th game, and for winning, I won with Carrot 19 Billy, by the way. Which I just wanted to show off, because it's such a huge accomplishment, and I love my trophy. Now, this is a magic spatula. See, it's got wings. It's another part of the game. There's so many different cards in this game. And then it's got a bunny, and then this thing. But that's pretty much just the point of my video today. I should try and explain to you a foreign game you've never heard of called Killer Bunnies. So that way, you can, I don't know, maybe gawk in glory over Wicked Sweet, um, trophy. That's what I did my Super Bowl weekend. I, would, I did watch the game too, though, by the way. Bruce Springsteen for the win! Surprisingly, this video does have a second purpose. Um, next week, I have decided I'm going to tell a story. But, you know, I have lots of stories. So I'm going to let you, the viewer, and hopefully subscriber, choose which story that is. So there are three stories that I would like to, that I would like to tell you. And you get to pick. The first story is about a falling refrigerator. Second story... It's about a, is the killing of a PlayStation. The third story was all, involves a giant wave and a sandbar. Now, if you would like to hear the story about the falling refrigerator, I would ask you to comment A in the comment section. Dead PlayStation will be comment B, and the giant wave and sandbar will be comment C. If you like, oh, if you like nail biting action, sort of, I would vote for the falling refrigerator. If you like nail-biting action plus tragedy, I would vote for the PlayStation. If 
If you like hear about hearing me getting injured, then I would vote for the wave in the sandbar. The winning choice will be the story told next week, so that's something to look forward to. And I wish you all a very good week, subscribers, viewers, and Exotic Tofu members. Bye. Henry says subscribe!